Imagine planning a vacation, not to your favorite city or country, but to Mars. It sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie, but we're closer to making it a reality. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, has ambitious plans to send humans to Mars. He's announced that starships will launch there as soon as 2026, sooner than you might think. But SpaceX isn't the only player in the game. NASA is making remarkable progress with its Artemis program, which aims to establish a long-term human presence on the moon. In this video, I'll take you inside the groundbreaking projects these two giants are working on. And that's just the beginning. Imagine robots taking over scientific exploration instead of humans. A revolutionary mission is already in the works, and its purpose would definitely surprise you. I'll reveal this exciting development later in the video, so stick around. You won't want to miss it. NASA's Artemis Program This is NASA's program aimed at landing the first woman and the first person of color on the moon. You might be wondering why this program is called Artemis and what it specifically means. Actually, Artemis is the Greek goddess of the moon and the twin sister of Apollo. NASA chose this name to connect the program to the Apollo missions, which first took astronauts to the moon. On May 25, 1961, U.S. President John F. Kennedy announced the big plan of landing a man on the moon. However, as we all know, things are never as easy as they seem, especially in rocket science. Kennedy aimed to achieve this milestone before the end of the decade, but various political factors influenced the timeline. Despite these challenges, the efforts paid off when NASA's Apollo 11 mission successfully landed the first man on the moon in 1969. You might not remember the exact name of the mission, but you almost certainly know the name of the first person to walk on the lunar surface, Neil Armstrong. Did you know that he retired from NASA just one year after Apollo 11? His achievement undoubtedly made history. Now, if we talk about NASA's new lunar exploration program, the agency plans to utilize advanced technology to study the moon in greater detail and eventually prepare for Mars exploration. You might be wondering whether this program primarily focuses on the moon or Mars. Let me clarify. NASA intends to use the moon as a stepping stone toward its ultimate goal, Mars. Establishing a strong presence on the moon will allow scientists to better understand the advanced tools and technologies needed for future complex missions to Mars. It's fascinating to note that the technology NASA developed for its early missions has now become a part of everyday life on Earth. The agency is now working with various companies to modernize technology for the Artemis missions. You can imagine the benefits that come with the creation of new technologies. It not only advances space exploration, but also boosts the economy. Businesses can generate more jobs, ultimately helping to resolve economic challenges. NASA's vision for the Artemis program also includes collaborating with other nations to explore and access Earth's closest neighbor in space, the Moon. Now, the most important question arises. What spacecraft will NASA use for this program? NASA's new rocket, the Space Launch System, SLS, is the answer. It is the most powerful and capable rocket the agency has ever built, designed to enable faster and more efficient space missions. According to the latest information on NASA's website, the SLS will be capable of launching four astronauts into lunar orbit. After completing their mission, the crew will return to Earth aboard the Orion spacecraft. This is truly fascinating. Once this vision becomes a reality, we will witness a real-life story featuring many unexpected twists and turns. It would be hard to say whether it's science fiction or reality. Adding to your excitement, the Artemis 1 mission has already been completed. On December 11, 2022, the Orion spacecraft returned to Earth after a 25.5-day mission to the Moon. The agency is targeting September 2025 for Artemis 2, which aims to further strengthen the base on the Moon for scientific exploration through the first crewed mission. Artemis 3 is scheduled for September 2026, marking the milestone when humans are expected to land at the lunar south pole. NASA has also set a target deadline for their mission to the Gateway Lunar Space Station, 2028. This demonstrates NASA's unwavering passion for space exploration and its mission to transform humanity's way of life. NASA Administrator Bill Nelson said, We've learned a lot since Artemis 1, and the success of these early missions relies on our commercial and international partnerships to further our reach and understanding of humanity's place in our solar system. Artemis represents what we can accomplish as a nation and as a global coalition. When we set our sights on what is hard, together we can achieve what is great. While NASA's Artemis program is one of a kind, there are other projects that deserve significant attention as well, especially how SpaceX's Starship aims to redefine space travel. Before we dive deeper into this fascinating exploration, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to Project Talk. I have a list of exciting mega projects to share with you, just like this one. You won't want to miss these groundbreaking and mysterious innovations. SpaceX Mars Program 
SpaceX has claimed that its Starship is the most powerful launch vehicle ever introduced worldwide. The company is focused on developing a fully reusable transportation system to revolutionize space travel, enhancing both speed and efficiency. If you search the world's most powerful launch vehicle on Google, Wikipedia will most likely highlight Starship at the top of the results. According to current information, Starship is designed for long-duration interplanetary flights, carrying up to 100 people. On January 16, 2025, CNN published an article titled, New Generation Starship Set to Push Boundaries in Highly Anticipated Launch. As the title suggests, the article highlights SpaceX's dedication and ambition to send the first humans to Mars. The company has consistently pushed boundaries with every Starship flight test. The latest mission of the Starship rocket, which stands nearly 400 feet 121 meters tall, aims to advance efforts to return astronauts to the moon and ultimately fulfill Elon Musk's vision of transforming life on Mars. According to my analysis, Elon Musk doesn't see this as just a business. Instead, he views his company as a gateway to turn his personal dream into reality. To achieve his bigger dream, he has introduced distinctive styles and innovations in the reusable transportation system. This includes orbit refueling and utilizing natural H2O and CO2 resources on Mars to refuel on its surface. NASA has offered SpaceX $4.5 billion to work on Starship and finalized two crewed lunar landings, expecting the first to take off as soon as 2027. Imagine you have a trip to Mars or even move there permanently. You raise your children there, telling them about your life on Earth. The concept of dying on Mars is also intriguing. What do you think? We could only watch these kinds of travels in cartoons in our childhood in the past or later in movies. Now, SpaceX and NASA are setting real-life expectations for unbelievable adventures. However, these two companies might not be the only two. Other countries may have mega plans with their own lunar ambitions to compete with the rapidly transforming world. China has revealed its plan to build a moon base at the lunar south pole. In 2021, it collaborated with Russia to announce the International Lunar Research Station. Then, according to further reports, China has offered to collaborate with other countries to expand the project. The project is divided into two phases. The first, planned for completion by 2035, includes robotic construction and the establishment of a basic base. The second phase, set to be completed by 2050, envisions an expanded version of their plan. Now, I'm about to reveal the surprising detail I mentioned at the beginning. According to recent reports, China aims to send a flying robot to the far side of the moon next year to locate frozen water. What inspired this unique idea? The vision is based on the concept that if the robot discovers ice on the moon, it could one day lay the foundation for a human base. This would enable scientists to overcome many barriers on their path to groundbreaking discoveries. China aims to establish a permanent research station there and the robot may even have the potential to analyze the environment. Experts also anticipate that this mission will access regions that were previously unreachable. I'm on the edge of my seat to see how far international partners can go. I'll be sharing any exciting updates with you, so please remember to subscribe to my channel. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about the projects we discussed today. The construction and technological advancements in the space industry are truly fascinating to explore. This becomes even more intriguing as we discuss future projects and set our own expectations, eagerly awaiting what unfolds.